Hey, Scruffy. I'm early again. So another nice day. It's going to start heating up tomorrow. So I think I'm going to water some of the garden after I feed you. <clears throat> so I have, let's see, I think it's the meaty pate with real ocean whitefish and kibble. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put the food on the table. Love. Okay. Scan. <clears throat> and yeah, so weather wise, it's just another nice day. And unfortunately, I think it's going to be the last for a while. So, what well, tomorrow? Tomorrow might be okay. It's going to start heating up tomorrow. It may not get hot enough where it's miserable. The following days will be uh, getting into heat wave territory. <clears throat> so I kind of actually wanted to do some sort of exercise today, but I needed a. I think I needed a recovery day. Or a rest day. So I went for my uh, interval run last night, and yeah, it wasn't that great. It was okay, but I could I could tell I was fatigued. Had trouble really getting up to speed. And I can tell, yeah, my legs are tired on top of everything else. So, yeah, I think I'm due for a rest or recovery day. So I'm staying in tonight, even though the weather's nice. Because yeah, today would have been a good, or today would have been a biking day if I didn't uh, stay in. But, uh, Um, uh, <clears throat> if I go biking, I'm probably going to push push myself again on the really steep uh, exposed uh, mountainside again. So I think I, I need to keep doing that to uh, try to force myself to get back in uh, shape. <clears throat> but since yeah, I'm Staying in today, I figured uh, yeah, I should do some watering. Actually, I watered the front uh, about 45 minutes ago. But yeah, I don't need to do the whole back yard here. Um, I, I watered it. I forgot when I watered it. It wasn't that long ago, so I don't think it's overdue. However, yeah, there are some plants that I'm a little worried about, so I want to give him some water before our next heat wave. <clears throat> so I'll probably just water, spot water some of the plants that I'm more concerned about. And then I'll probably skip the others. On my run yesterday, let's see, I think it was on the way, I think it was on the way back. I saw a friendly cat and the, the new youngling playing, it looks like they were playing chase. So the, the youngling was chasing the friendly cat across a bunch of people's yards. And the friendly cat was dodging in and out of the yards as the youngling was trying to catch him. 
And so the friendly cat blew right past me. Well, he was in somebody's yard, so it wasn't really that close to me, but yeah, he basically zoomed past me, you know, running through somebody's yard while the, the youngling was uh, trailing pretty far behind at this point. And uh, the front, the youngling was actually running uh, closer to the sidewalk where I was. So eventually, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so the friendly cat got really far ahead and the uh, youngling was further behind and I think the youngling decided, yeah, he was also easily distracted with other things in the yard. So he stopped and was looking at various plants and twigs and probably insects and whatever. And then I, I came came by and he was a little defensive, but uh, also not completely scared. So he backed up a little bit in the bushes, but he didn't really seem too scared of me. So I reached out my uh, finger, did that uh, was it Michelangelo pointing thing. And eventually the youngling, yeah, uh, came up to my finger and kind of let me uh, pet him on his uh, side. Albeit a little brief. Um, so after I pet him a little bit, yeah, then he kind of pulled away and we kind of went back into the, the bushes and uh, seemed to get distracted again. So he's looking at the plants and he's looking, looking around the things. And then I think he was looking forward to trying to find the friendly cat. And so I think he was a little indecisive about what he wanted to do. Um, I continued to stick out my finger and he did come back to me at one point, but then he kind of just like swept by me. Um, so he didn't really stick around for pets and then yeah, he, <clears throat> um, then he looked like, yeah, he was trying to reevaluate what he wanted to do. And, uh, then he started looking full, uh, outward towards the friendly cat, figure out where the friendly cat went, I think. So I, uh, decided, yeah, at that point I probably just continue on with the cat, try to catch up with, uh, the friendly cat. Didn't see the pal. Not sure where the pal was hanging out today, or yesterday. And, let's see... Yeah, I'm kind of stressed out today for some reason, I'm not sure why. So, all in all, I think I'm actually having an, like, at least subjectively, I think I'm having an okay day. But yeah, for some reason, I feel like, yeah, something, something's wrong. And I'm, I'm feeling off today. I'm not sure why. It's almost like a depression or a guilt or something. Something I, I feel like I screwed up something, but I don't know what. So the one, one bad thing, it's not really a bad thing, but uh, um, I had to submit some paperwork for something and they needed proof of identification. I've done this before, so I was kind of annoyed that uh, they were asking for it again. Because I did it, I think, three years ago. So they have all the documentation, but they wanted it again. And then... Um, yeah, they disputed, or they, they had trouble confirming something, and so they wanted more paperwork, and so, so, yeah, so I sent it all off. I don't think it's a big issue, but I didn't really want to deal with it, and I, I guess maybe a little paranoid that, yeah, they're, they're going to screw something up, and they're going to make me suffer, and I'm going to regret all of this, <laughs> so, so it might be that. Scruffy's about ready for food. Okay, I'm gonna get you your feed. And I'm gonna go water the garden. Oops, a leaf stuck to the brush.
bunch of, bunch of dangling pieces of fur on his butt. I'm not sure why they're there. Of all places. Wondering if he's having trouble grooming himself back there. But of course, Scruffy also sheds in really weird ways, so it might be normal for him. But yeah, he also doesn't let me really brush his backside too much. So, so I can't really help him. So let's see. I saw Scruffy this morning sleeping on the orange chair again. So I didn't want to wake him, so I decided I'd be at least let him sleep and bring out the water later. And uh, I'd wait for him to get off the chair. He actually stayed there for multiple hours, so, uh, so I caught him in the morning before lunchtime. I assumed he'd be off by the, off the chair by lunchtime or late lunchtime at the latest, but kind of at the late lunchtime he was still on the chair, and I figured, well, I don't know what I should do. But then he saw me through the window and he woke up and then he jumped off the chair, I think. So I figured, well, he's up, might as well give him his water. Felt bad about waking him up, but oh well. So he's off the chair. Um, I think he was a little more defensive with me today compared to some other days. Um, I put down the water and yeah, he actually didn't go for the water immediately. He just kind of sat there for a long time. And I have all sorts of camera problems. The stupid thing keeps freezing or crashing or whatever. So I think I had to restart the camera at one point while I was out there. Fortunately, it wasn't. It didn't require a full reboot this time. I was able to get it up probably within another minute. And then I went back in, and then Scruffy, I think, finally drank the water. So, let's see, another things. Yeah, I've been still trying to get that stupid headlight lock off. I can't get it to budge, and I don't really... I don't want to get too drastic with it because I might make it worse. I might not be able to get the thing back on. So I'm, I'm reaching a point where I might just give up. Um, and then let's see, I was talking about giving my cousin a wedding gift, and I meant, I still haven't done it. I had talked about, uh, there's a Dutch oven I was looking at. It's really expensive, you know. It, the, the reason I'm looking at it mostly is because it's like the only item on the, the registry that I actually know something about. And I've, I've always, you know, I've always heard yet, or maybe believe that it's better to give a gift that uh, you have some sort of connection with, you know, kind of comes from you in some way. And uh, yes, yeah, so I did a bunch of research on Dutch ovens a few years ago, so I'm very familiar with this particular Dutch oven. And, um, it's too expensive to buy for myself, but I thought, you know, that makes, yeah, but for a wedding gift, you know. I know she cooks, so uh, she's, uh, Comes from a line of gourmet chefs. So I don't think it'll be wasted. Don't know for sure, but you know. so anyway, I was thinking about that, but yeah, it's it's really expensive. <laughs> and I was hoping to soften the blow with uh, getting the sign you know, sign up for the mailing list and get you know ten percent off your first order. And then I found out it doesn't apply to that Dutch oven figures. Um, 
and I spent uh, an hour with their online chat trying to get the coupon to buy and ended up getting a supervisor and only after that did they tell me, oh yeah, you know, this, this item uh, won't work with the coupon, sorry. So I've been debating if I want to buy it or not because it is, it is pricey. Um, if I wait a little bit longer, uh, one of my credit cards has like a rotating re rewards thing, and uh, I think I will qualify for a, a, a couple extra percent if I use uh, that credit card when the time's right. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do that. But then I noticed uh, the registry. Um, so the company, the company I was thinking about buying. So the registry has like three companies, and I was, the, the the Dutch oven was uh, from uh, Crate and Barrel. And I I noticed when I was uh, list, going through the registry, there are a couple items that are actually on uh, sale right now. Uh, one of them is actually on clearance, or I think maybe not clearance, a final sale, which I think is clearance, and it's actually marked down I think by over half, and it's certainly a lot more in my price range. Um, so it's just a couple of pillows. Um, I'm actually kind of tempted to buy that. It's it's, it's on sale. <laughs> it's actually it's really well marked down. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything about pillows. And the only reason I'd get it is because it was yeah cheap or at least respectively cheaper than everything else, specifically the thing I was looking at. So, um, I'm not sure. I don't know how long the sale is going to go, so I'll probably keep thinking about it, and then I'm going to see that the sale is going to end it, and then I won't be able to get it. So, and then I'll be stuck with uh, the Dutch oven. That's my own, or my best recourse. Speaking of Dutch ovens, yeah, I'm thinking maybe three days from now I'm going to use mine in the sun oven. So I'm thinking that I think two or three days from now, yeah, the heat wave is going to peak. So I think three days from now I'll have, assuming I can get up in time, I think um, I have enough flexibility in my schedule that I should be able to tend to the sun oven all day. Not that I have to do much. I just need to set it up in the morning. Might be a good idea to turn it once or twice depending on uh, how hot the oven temperature is. So yeah, it gets a little trickier this time of year. So even though we get a lot of, uh, we're going to get a heat wave uh, because the sun is lower in the horizon. Um, it's um, the intent, the the amount of uh, heat that it gets trapped uh, can be a little slow, uh, lower, so I may need to actually uh, keep it pointed at the sun a little longer. So I may, I may need to tend to it a little more, because especially since I'm cooking pork, I want to make sure that I. Cook it thoroughly. And, uh, I think, yeah, I've read um, like the number of cases of trichinosis is like um, it's almost zero. It's like it, it doesn't happen anymore. Somebody was telling me that uh, the way they feed pigs now, it's much better, so it, I guess, uh, prevents uh, trichinosis from becoming a problem. At 
least minimizes it greatly. So I think I, I think I think the number was like less than ten a year. I think it was like two or something like that. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, I remember it was a really small number, considering you know how much uh, how many people are in the country and how much meat's consumed. Probably have bigger problems eating raw eggs than uh, raw pork. But yeah, I'm not terribly eager to find out, so I'd like to make sure I cook it thoroughly in my uh, sun oven. Might start getting stuff prepared for that. I think Scruffy's about done. It's not doing a very good job cleaning the pate. I guess it's okay. It's not, not terrible. He's done worse. Oh yeah, the other day I checked the kibble bin and one of the latches was pulled down on one side. I, th I think some animal is Figure, or has figured out how to unlatch the latches. Um, so I closed it again. It's still up last I checked, but uh, I kind of wonder, does Scruffy figure out how to unlatch a storage bin? I guess he just needs to pull his claws on it. It's not... I think it's a raccoon, but... Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.